Hola everyone, this is Sincere Me One Two here. Um, just wanted to do a quick video. It's funny, this morning I woke up, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but have you ever gone to bed thinking about a certain song and woke up thinking about that certain song? Well, that happened to me last night. I was watching TV before I went to bed and one of the last commercials that I saw was the Target commercial. And I don't know if you've seen the commercial, but it has a song about an electronic Santa Claus. So that song kept on playing and playing and playing in my head last night. And then this morning when I woke up, what do I have? The electronic Santa Claus playing and playing and playing in my head. So that song is like driving me crazy right now. It's a catchy tune. It's a fun song. But after a while it can get annoying. Um, yeah, so this morning I just wanted to do a quick eye tutorial um, on a simple holiday look. This has been, for some reason, sorry, for some reason this whole week... I've been getting up like at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning for no reason. My body just says wake up and that's it. I'm up. And I hate it because then by 5 o'clock I start getting sleepy again and it's annoying. So um, this morning I was up around 4.09 and I was like okay I gotta put myself back to sleep. So today is actually a heavy concealer type of day for me. But um, I really don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, so, like I said, I just wanted to do a quick eye tutorial. I don't know if you can see. I already done one eye. I usually like to do both eyes, but because this is a simple look, I already know the amount I'm putting on both eyes. Um, my eyelid is already primed. And I am doing this tutorial with what I already have. I didn't go out and buy anything else. And if you already have um, eye palettes, you know, or quads that have colors similar to this then you can do it too you know um trying to work with what i have already and this is actually one of the most affordable palettes i have i found it at walgreens for like 99 cents and it's pretty pigmented it's pretty cute and it's um the color me glow 12 shade eyeshadow by profusion i got these um maybe a month or two ago this is palette number three and they're supposed to be stocking stuffers and I just I look I found them looking fun so I said why not get them so what I'm gonna start with right now is um, my brow highlight but just want to let you know the three colors that I'm using so that you can be aware I'm using the vanilla color as the brow highlight then right next to the vanilla color this kind of like a smoked black kind of eyeshadow which is this one that's the one I'm using as a base or all over my lid and then I'm gonna take it a little bit out of tradition when it comes to holiday colors usually holiday colors are red green gold I'm gonna go with this fuchsia them yeah I'm gonna go with that fuchsia I think it's a pretty color and it would make actually a great um, New Year's eye or even Christmas if you like to think outside the box and you like to be outside the norm then this will be a cool um, look for you um, so I'm gonna start with my eyebrow I'm sorry you're right I'm gonna start with my eyebrow um, brush dip it into the vanilla and then I'm just going to go and quickly highlight under my eyebrow. You can hear the news. That's my alarm clock and it's also my time clock. Because every time they hit, like every 15 minutes, they'll let you know. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush, dip it into that smoked black. And then I'm just going to put that all around my lid, including... A little bit above my my um, crease you want to cover the whole eye and make it you know nice and smoky and what I like about this color is that it's not as intense as black can be 
black can be a little intense and hard to to blend I don't know if you've ever had a problem blending out black but I have and blending out black can be a pain in the rear sometimes so I think this color is a great alternative to black and a color that will be similar to this in one of your palettes would be like a dark charcoal gray or even like a smoky brown even though you know you're not gonna get the same gray effect but you can get that smoky look okay so the eye is done had a little bit of fallout so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my blending brush from elf and then I'm just gonna blend just a little bit up just to lighten that top and lighten you know the corner and you know it's you don't have to do it a lot now I'm gonna take my my defining eye brush from elf and as you can see, it's slanted that way. So I'm going to take that, dip it in the fuchsia. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going in the crease. I'm going above the crease, almost towards my brow bone. And I'm kind of creating a line from there, which is from this point of my eyebrow, all the way to the last point of the ending of my eyebrow. And then from there... I'm just gonna bring it this way okay so here we go and again all I'm doing is kind of tracing a line with this brush it's I'm not in the crease at all and now I'm just gonna go down here go back in the fuchsia and make a line going up kind of like a make um, making an outline of your eye now that line that I just did down there I'm just gonna blend it up just a little bit so that the um, the gray or the black can blend together and then go back and just add a little bit of more fuchsia to that line that I just created and that's basically it as you can see it's pretty simple so that's done now I'm gonna take my my brow um, the same highlight that I use in my brow and then I'm just gonna put it in the corner just a little bit uh, almost forgot take the same eye defining brush Go back into the fuchsia and you're going to trace the bottom of your eye. And I'm going pretty wide with it because I'm going to put eyeliner under there and I don't want the eyeliner to cover my eye. So, if you can see, I've traced the bottom of my eye. Now, I'm going to go... And just take some liquid eyeliner and just do the top part of the eye and I'm going from corner to corner okay and I really like this liquid liner because it, it goes on pretty quick I actually need a new one I've had it for a couple of months now and I use it often and it just works really good and guys you can make the line as thick or as thin as you want is all up to you now what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of the line and just give myself a little wing nothing big just a little wing and I made my line pretty thick I don't know if you can see that but now I'm gonna take my um, prestige waterproof eyeliner brush um eyeliner i'm sorry and then i'm just gonna line the bottom of my my eye and that line i am making a little bit thin because i want the pink to show okay 
So that's done. Now I'm gonna line my waterline. And I like this eyeliner because this eyeliner lasts almost all day in the waterline. Okay. So that's done. Now I'm just gonna go and do the top part of the waterline. This can be a little tricky and it kind of bothers the eye a little bit. You just got to find what way it works best for you. At first, it gets my eye a little bit watery, but. Okay, now that's done. I'm going to just go in with my Falsies Mascara. And just brush it up. Just adding length and thickness. And I love this mascara because it just gives so much body and length to your to your eyelashes. It's just a fun mascara to wear. And it comes off easily with my oil makeup remover. Okay. So that's done. I'm just going to go with the back part and just kind of do the bottom. With that, you just want to be careful because you don't want to put too much. And if it happens, just, you know, it's okay. Like I just did. I just made a mess under that eye. So I always have a Q-tip under there just to clean up whatever mess I make. Okay. So, I'm done. This is the simple holiday makeup look. Um, if you guys have any questions, any comments, um, you know, feel free to let me know. Have a great day, and I see you next time.